Yeah, so this is really funny. Nadia is currently doing a live with her friend Kay. <clears throat> and uh, we've got the Sky, we've got the Sky engineer arriving in 20 minutes. We've completely forgotten that this is happening. And look. Bye bye. Bye bye. Mad? Mad? Oh God. Hmm? Mark! They can't come in like this. <laughs> Mark, please. Come on, it's You fun. go upstairs. <sighs> You, could, you just hide. They're going to know and I just wore off the tent. Yeah, and I'm going to say to them, look, we're in an absolute parlour state. You just go upstairs and you Where do they need them. to go? They're going to need to go into the doghouse. No! <laughs> oh, you've cleared the, you cleared the... Mark! What? I'm clearing in here it's now. It's so embarrassing. I'm clearing in here. It's not that embarrassing. Bloody Where? Oh, yeah. <laughs> but you know what? It's really big. How weird is this? Everyone on YouTube Ev sees this. Of course they do. home alone. I haven't been home alone because Maddie is out at a friend's in their garden. Kiki and uh, uh, Mads are doing a test run to the school that Kiki could be going to in September 2021. And I'm home alone. What do I do? Do I eat? All the dates. Or do I eat all the apricots? Or do I eat all the raisins? See, the lot of a recovering alcoholic is that I can tell you exactly how much alcohol is in a cupboard without looking. I have a sort of ESP, it's a dog-like ESP that's like a radar pulse that scans the interior and doo, boop, 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 like a Geiger counter tells me where the alcohol is. I'm exactly the same with dried fruitage. And I'm guessing there must be something in my chromosomal makeup that can sense and detect stuff that is on its way to fermentation land. So, yeah, I have a cornucopia of countless dried fruits for me to potentially indulge in, but I'm gonna try not to, even though, don't tell anyone, I've already had three or four. She does go mad though, she does go mad. There's Chi Chi. We had the Sky Engineer come over today, suited and booted, couldn't take a cup of coffee, couldn't cup of, cut take a cup of tea. His name was Dane, he was lovely, he was good. He was a Star Wars fan. Show me photos of how he'd met Anthony Daniels, C-3PO. We bonded over the George Lucas franchise and then Nadia came down and blew his socks off with her talk of Baharat and cooking spaces. Anyway, I'm on my own, as you can probably tell. And on the one hand, it's joyful, but on the other hand, I've got oodles of work to do. And I've just spent an enormous amount of time doing an enormous amount of writing that I just had to do, and I've done it. So I feel I've hit, I've done that thing where I set a target, set a destination, and I hit it. So I immediately leapt up straight away, went and did my workout, done it. Now I'm gonna edit the vlog that you will all be receiving on Friday afternoon at approximately 6.30, Friday evening. So there you go, guys. And it's Father's Day this weekend, and Father's Day is a funny, funny time for me. It really is, it's a funny time. Hysterical. No, it's a funny time for me because on the one hand, I want all my daughters here. On the other hand, I don't want a fuss made. I feel like birthdays. And on the other hand, I'm left thinking, how would I have come out if I'd had a father? If my father had been in my life? Um, don't get me wrong, I don't want to talk about someone because I don't know them, but I have met my biological father twice in my life. And there was something lacking, something missing, something not right about wanting to continue that relationship or maintain the contact. 
I've had to go into therapy an awful lot to work out whether part of that was me wanting to resurrect contact in order to close it down because I felt I had no choice. I'm not entirely certain about that. I think more overarchingly, I think when you get older, parents are essentially a burden. And I mean that in the nicest way. We love them, we care for them. But I view the rest of my mum's life as me taking on an increasingly caring capacity, which I think I do already, looking after her, making sure she has nice trips and all that kind of stuff, looking after her if anything goes wrong with her health and stuff like that, trying to sort of help her out. And when I have four daughters, and when I essentially have a father who's effectively made no contribution to my life, um, I don't know if I wanted to, I didn't know if I wanted to add that burden to my life uh, as well, uh, with all of the kind of emotional issues around feeling like I'd be giving when I didn't get, if you know what I mean. God, this has got very heavy very quickly. So anyway, but I do often think, I think on Father's Day, what would I have been with a bit more of a father? And you, you know, I did I did have a sort of photo fit father. I'm trying to find the photograph of him here. Look, this is Jim. This is my artist friend. He's much older than me. And he influenced me in a massive number of ways. Most of all, in terms of, you know, following your creative dream, believing in your vision. He was a painter, uh, not compromising your, your vision or your art or your commercial production, because he'd sell a lot of paintings as well. He didn't just paint for himself, if you know what I mean. You know, and I've made programs for telly. I don't just make short films and all that sort of stuff. Not compromising yourself. You know, life is about more than just the money you make and the status you hold. Uh, and all that sort of stuff. So, you know, I have found bits and bobs in dads, but Father's Day, it's a funny moment for me. It's a funny time for me. But anyway, so I'm in the house, I'm on my own, I'm thinking all these things. Part of me wants to sit down and just read my book. Another part of me wants to do six million other things. And another part of me just wants to eat Whisper Golds. Do you get that? So anyway, I'll update you in a little bit as to what exactly I get up to. Oh, and by the way, look, David Austin Roses have arrived. Do you think Nadia will be pleased with the box? Yet more boxes. And let's not forget, don't tell her, but look. I ordered these about nine months ago, to be fair. But look. I was going to be recording loads of stuff today. I was going to be chatting with you all. I was going to be recording lots of vlogs. But guess what? Head down, busy, busy, lots of work, lots of deadlines. The deadline, biggest deadline I've got on Monday. So uh, I've been working away at that. And um, and Nads is still not here, and it's the members live on the members side of our channel. We do a little members live, so I'm afraid members. Well, by the time you see me talking to you now, you'll have seen it, and Nadia will be back. But anyway, uh, it's been a busy day, it's been a really busy day, and it's got dark. Have you ever had those days where you know you're sort of so lost in translation in in what it is you're doing? that you don't even, you're not even aware that it's got dark outside and it's been threatening to storm all day and it hasn't stormed. It's just been one of those days. One of those days, it's very quiet. And I have to say, I've had enough of it being quiet now. I want everyone back. Chi Chi, you're not a great conversationalist. You're just interested in your trachea. It's really frustrating. So I've made myself a coffee, which I wouldn't be able to do if Nadia was here because it's too late and I'm probably gonna be up all night and I'm probably not gonna stop talking. So anyway. Look, there you all are, look. There you all are, guys. Look, all chatting away. Chatting away amongst yourselves whilst I'm sitting here just looking. Oh, I'm just waiting. Just sitting and waiting. So I'm just going to sit back until it's eight o'clock. So, just setting up to do the recipes for the No Name Sunday show. I can hear Mark coming, Mark. Um, can you just come over here a minute? Where are you? I'll tell you what you are. You are extraordinarily brave. On a Saturday, to have done this to me again. Show them, show them. Show them, show them. No, they know I showed up with them. But I mean... Again. <laughs> I had no choice. I couldn't be asked to go to the So store basically, yesterday. tell people what you've done. <laughs> I was literally here with my head down all day and I needed something sweet and I just went for it. I thought, I'll just have a few. I'll leave them more than last time. Yeah, I'm just going to eat all the sweets. Yeah, but what have you done? They haven't, can't see you what you've done. Dates. 
know that. Right, if you know this from the other vlogs, half a box. It's for my recipe again this morning. Yeah, there's plenty for anyone. I need recipe. a whole you box. Never put, no, you Darling, don't. you don't understand. It makes the base. It's a vegan cheesecake. It makes the entire base. It's a box of dates. That's why I always buy one. I'll let you off as you seem like a broken man. <laughs> You've already knackered. Darling, what to do today? Why did you go and why didn't you go and lie down? I was, I was gonna get you up. No, I thought I had to time. get up now. No, I said I'll come and get you. I just posted on my feed about feeling so down. What do you feel down? You're just tired. You've got too much to do and you are exhausted. Well, no, I was just saying on the post, I just need to somehow break it all down into bite sized chunks. It's yeah. very hard sometimes when you wake up. I know. Because it all crashes in at the same well, time. Well, because your brain automatically flips from each task to each task. And mm. Your brain can't distinguish them in time because it's thinking of them all the same. Also, what you've got to remember is that a lot mm. of the bad way you're feeling is actually because you're exhausted. I didn't have a good night because at one point in my sleep, I was resting my head on Janet McTeer's lap knowing I wasn't going to last forever. Right, that's Ozark. You're watching too many things. <laughs> She's a frightening woman. Do you want a hug? Mm. One step at a time. Take the, what, what do you always say to me when I get overwhelmed? Take things, just a t chunk at a time, mm. little chunks. So just think about what we've got to do first. Mm -hmm. So what's all this? That's the green thing at hell. I'll film that later. Hmm, it's quite interesting. It is quite interesting. And some of it, well, to the isn't dead. Really some of it isn't dead no, twigs. It's not, it's not dead. Wow. No, it's not dead. Well, it won't be dead as long as we open them today. <laughs> right, Mark's got to take Kiki out, drop her to her friends today. So I am going to attack this. I'm making two promises of clearing things. That one, just in case we've forgotten. How marvellous this one is. And I think, having seen uh, Lisa yesterday, in all her innocence, she's got no idea what's gone on in here. So I feel morally obliged to do that. Mm -hmm. And we've got to work on our other project that we can't talk about until next week. Wait, wait. This is the current situation. I am lying like this. You can hear Mark mumbling in the background because this is how we are doing the book. Mastermind over there is writing it all. And every so often I come in and dribble a bit of something from my brain that he manages to turn into something. Oh. When we do our um, press tour or whatever we do for this book, I think we should take Chi Chi because she's always there beside him. Look, oh. I'm going to turn the camera around. Go and watch Mark. <laughs> so, guys. Green fingered hell in in boxes. Did you say you're excited about finding out what's in these boxes? Mm, very. Yeah, yeah, she doesn't normally like what's in a box because it's normally dead. Well, I know but I like David Austin. you like David Austin. I like the look of that one in there at the moment, don't you? And especially when I tell Miss Sawala off the telly exactly where these are planned for, I think she might get quite excited. So Mark has just gone to pick up Kiki from the park. And I'm just setting up to do a live with Lee on YouTube, my friend Lee. It's really nice now that we've been on YouTube for a while to help out. Look at me, I'm putting perfume on, I'm not even going anywhere. It's really nice when you can help out a pal. Because, you know, obviously we've been doing YouTube a year and a half or so now. And we've learnt some stuff. And I just think Lee would be great on YouTube. So it's really nice being able to, to help him get started up. Um, been a bit of a 
strange day today and yeah it's been a bit difficult because Mark is in full workaholic mode and I mean Mark can decide whether he wants to put this in or not I'll leave this decision for you Mark maybe it's a bit cheeky of me to leave a message via this but sometimes you're really really hard to help you've got so much on your plate I've tried 50 different ways to try and get you to I don't know I don't know what but to try and get you to just be a bit kind to yourself and you're not again and it's really really frustrating because a lot of why you're down and you're depressed at the moment is because you're tired you don't sleep enough and it's so worrying for me because I know how bad that is for your immune system. You don't sleep, you don't look after yourself at all, at all. It's really, really frustrating and I know for lots of other people who have a partner who struggles sometimes with depression or how frustrating it can be when it's just like they don't hear you. Haven't been to a meeting for ages, have you? You did so sessions last week, which was good, but these things are not for me, they're for you. They make you feel better. Come on, babe. Anywho, I'm going to set up the camera so I can film some of what goes on with me and Lee. So here I am with Lee doing his first live. ever live. And there's lots of our uh, subs there. Sharon, Brenda, Ashley, Selena, Margaret, Peter, Raspberry Mojito, Selena, Victoria, Beckett, MP, Tonic Water, Ice. And if you haven't got any, um, here's Mark. Hey, baby. Hey, Kiki. Mark just come in with Kiki. Hello. Come on, say hello. There's lots of our subs here. Hello. And lots of these friends. He's laughing. He's so excited. My God, this is like a proper, fully OB. Yeah. Thing. Look at all this. We've got the vlog going as well. Kiki, come so and say hello good. to him. Wish, wish Lee luck. Well done, Lee. They're all here to good wish you luck on your first live. Oh, thanks, guys. I feel like I'm in the presence of YouTube royalty. <laughs> <laughs> That's because you are. <laughs> I want a tiara. <laughs> oh, it looks great. I'll look at it out of your way. Oh, so that was great fun. And it's really set um, Lee up on his first proper live, his first proper night on YouTube. So thank you to all of you that um, have supported him. I'm sure he will go on to entertain you through the years and you will have been some of the first there. So now I'm gonna go and cook dinner for Mark and Kiki. Bye. Spring a bit because um, it's Father's Day today. Mark is absolutely knackered, and it's Sunday, so he's got a big day with editing. So I want him to have a bit of a sleep. So I thought I'd show you. Look at these I managed to get for Father's Day. It's a Star Wars thingy. It's a 3D model. I'm a bit worried I'm going to have to actually make this. Oh no, I wouldn't, would I? <laughs> would it go in the envelope? <laughs> I'm very proud of this, so I love this. There you go. You can spend the afternoon making that. That's good, isn't it? So I'll write something nice in there. And I got this. I saw it online. And um, it's right near Lisa's house. The woman who makes them. So I've got these to go and pick it up. so awful. 
To my Mr. Happy Father's Day. Hope it's out of this world. Despite the fact that you also have to... Oh, no, I can't tell you that's a secret that we're not revealing till next Thursday. <laughs> OK. Hey, you top dadda. That's what the girls call, them, call him. You truly broke my heart the other day when you spoke about your mum and no dad dad. But, brackets, and this doesn't mean I don't wish you had had a great dad, I truly believe that your childhood experiences have made you the most wonderful father, dad, papa, dada. I know you are everything to our girls and I feel pretty damn proud of myself that I chose such a wonderful man to be our girl's dad. I mean it too. Oh, podcast the other day, he literally broke my heart. Sit there and then I'm going to spoil him rotten. We can have as many coffees and raisins as he likes and I'm going to make him Nando's and he can choose what films we watch and then make sure he has a really nice day because he deserves it bless him and it's a shit day yesterday I think his depression came to visit a bit yesterday mm. so today is a new day if I don't get this effing card in the envelope look at him upstairs Put the camera here. I can see a surprise. Just finishing off my makeup. Same poem. coffee as you want, oh. cup of tea and, and date balls. They already know what it is. I was very proud of myself finding this card. I may have bought it for you <laughs> in, recent, in past years, I don't know. No, Big Father's Day, Millennium Father's Day. I think you make it into a Millennium Father. Oh, well, that's cool. Uh, I truly believe that your childhood experiences have made you the most wonderful father, dad, papa, dad. Nothing is as much fun without you there. No. Oh. Even when I'm annoying. Even well. Mm, oh. <laughs> oh, thank you. That's what I went up to Lisa's the other day to get. Oh, oh wow. Proper silver. Oh, look at him. Gilded with proper, is it? proper silver, yeah. Oh, God, he's great, isn't it? Alas, poor Yorick. All hand gilded. Hasn't she done it oh, yeah, so beautiful. beautifully? Well, Lisa did it. No, God, no, no. The artist that lives there. Oh, wow. It's beautiful, isn't Look it? Look at that. That's great. You like it? Yeah, I love it. Is it a ring? <laughs> I don't know if I can wear it out every day. Alas, poor Yorick, can you rip a ratio? <laughs> I think these are quite good for when you're just feeling a bit anxious. Just that they're so tactile, aren't this they? This is like a like blue felt. They're very tactile, just James to feel Bond. a head. You know, the back of the head. Yeah, especially a disembodied head. Yeah. Yeah, one separated from the rest of his body. I think you should hold it when you're feeling anxious. I think I should hold it when I'm feeling particularly malevolent. Just like, a, you know, when you hold a baby's head, that lovely weight in your hand of so it. father, see children, come here, let me tell you a story. Mm -hmm. Weird, isn't it? I mean, I suppose when I die, I could, could do that with my head. Mm. Is it a real skull? It can't be, it's too small. That would be quite unnerving, wouldn't it? No, it's too small, it's a cast. <laughs> oh, I love it's it. It's a cast of real. I don't have to give him a name. Hello, subs, how are you? God, you've been going for call seven him. minutes. Call him Dada. I'll call him. That's your dad. This might... Yeah, I'm going to call him Dad. <laughs> Yeah, that is twisted, isn't it? <laughs> my dad. That's my dad. That's my dad. I look like him a bit, don't I? <laughs> Bye, guys. So a big happy Father's Day to all those fathers out there who are fatherless fathers. But I'd also like to say a huge father's happy Father's Day to the father I don't know or never had. 
the big absent, big shadowy, silhouette father in my life that's been there all my life. And the weird thing about that is, is that even an absent father or even no father provides some kind of fatherliness. Um, you know, I spent most of my life forever wondering, you know, what my relationship would have been like with a father, how we'd have interacted, uh, how I would have felt around him, how he'd have made me feel, whether he'd have been proud, whether we'd have shared the same interests, would we have gone to sporting events, would I have had someone to share in sport with, would I have been more manually minded, would I have, have shared in intimacies of, of emotion with him, or would he have been a sort of a cold fish who would have encouraged me to kind of button up, tighten up and, and, and hide myself away more? Would he have been proud of my achievements? Would he have not understood my achievements? Uh, would I have laughed hilariously running around on his back? Would he have told me at a certain age not to be so soppy? Would he have said man up? Would he have told me off? Would he have been angry with me? The thing about not knowing your father is, your father can be everything you want and everything you don't want all at the same time. You can change them into something that serves as a negative that you can rail against and that you can be angry at and that you can be disappointed in but it can also be this great big unknowable thing that you're excited about that you're proud of that you've turned to your own ends that you've invented that you've fantasized about that you've thought about that you've fictionalized that you've run with that you've that you have this idea and this fantasy and this belief that they're this great big superhero like dad when you know that no one can be those things and yet at the same time not having a father allows you to inflate this silhouette with all the positives and all the negatives. I've not had those definite points of inspiration. I've not had those definite holding of the hands or those moments of kind of instruction or guidance or advice or, or fatherly care. But at the same time, I've also been allowed to improvise ad lib and construct my own sense of the father I want to be. And I do realize on a day like today that sometimes if I'd had a father, that father would have perhaps molded me or steered me, not necessarily by intent, but because I might have reacted against what they were like, might have steered me and taken me down routes I wouldn't have wanted to go. So the blank canvas of my father figure today, the blank canvas of the father I wanna say Happy Father's Day to is the father I'm grateful for. I'm grateful for have ha having had choices around the father I want to be and the role models and the bits of fatherliness that I've managed to inherit and take from those people in my life that I've come across that have meant so much to me. Like a magpie, I've flown around and I've taken those shiny bits from the men that have influenced me. And there haven't been many of them, but I've also taken shiny bits from women that have influenced me so that I've become the dad that I am today. So I just want to say a huge happy Father's Day to all those fatherless fathers out there. Because it's a tricky day, it's a tricky day, when that great big absence can feel like such a sort of ache at times and such a bruise, but it's also the making of you. I promise you, it's also the making of you. I don't think I'd be as good a dad as I am today, and I don't always feel I'm a great dad, but I don't think I'd be as good a dad today if I had a dad, if you know what I mean. Oh, hello, Gigi, hello. Oh my God, are you actually serious? What? Mark! Huh? You've got a phone on your shoulder, two computers and another phone. Well, I'm trying to log you That in, is so not you can... good for you. Look oh, at all that radiation. All the radiation going through me. Oh my God. <laughs> Could light up. What are you actually doing? It's <laughs> all radioactive. <laughs> Maybe this is why I'm getting headaches and not sleeping. Mark! This is so bad. You maniac. I've gone and bloody cut my hand where I found a mouse. And I've got to do my weights now, I've got to do my Joe Wicks. So I'm now going to put on one of these gloves. Nadia's just doing a loose motion. You're going to find out soon why I've been so busy and unable to do the vlog. Uh, edit the vlogs. Anyway, so I'm about to do a workout and then I'm going to edit a vlog. But anyway, I've done lots in the garden, which you can see in Green Fingered Hill. And uh, yeah, so um, yeah. 
So, uh, oh, yeah. So, um, I'm gonna now. Yeah. I'm gonna, gonna go into it. I'm gonna now. I'm gonna go into it. What? Nothing, it was just really sweet a sweet little scene where um I'm just talking to you about cooking food for you. Would you in an ideal world, Nads, what would you like to eat as a nice romantic meal? Bearing in mind that you're not eating very ma very much at the moment. Oh, isn't it? Yeah. Um I don't know. Um I'm Mark, you've got to stop doing this. Just editing the vlog. So it's the afternoon. Oh, look at Nads. Look at you. Stand up, jump up. Oh, you look nice. I really like this. I got sent this very kindly. And I really oh. liked it. But you said I was going to look silly in it. I did think you were, but you look... Oh, my God. Hang on a minute. This is like one of those movies from the 70s. <laughs> Isn't it? Oh, it's so nice and cool. You look like Felicity Kendall. Yeah, I always wanted to look like Felicity Kendall. Yeah. Kendall. Jump up again. Mm. Maybe don't do it. Fire on my jet. Go fire on my jet. Fire on my jet. Go fire on my jet. Twerk? No, I can't get me this. What are we getting ready for? I, because my dad are coming over, dad's coming for Father's Day. And I'm going to make some food. And did you say this is the last briefing? I think so, because before it started, there was um, a journalist doing a big sort of like, you know, it began however many months ago, and we've had however many we've had, and... You know, so it sounded like it was a goodbye to it. Oh. Goodbye and briefings. There, witty, Boris. Oh, Witty, Boris. he's there for a rap party. Yeah. I reckon he'll be the life and soul of the drinks afterwards, don't you? So again, I think they all went really well. What a great series that was. Yeah, he looks, he's pretty damn cool, Witty. He wears those long suits, a long tie. You know, one of those guys that's very nonchalant about a tie. Sort of fiddles it a bit and just chucks it about and over his shoulder. And, you know, very, very comfortable in a tie. Would you like me to be comfortable in a tie? I'd like to be comfortable. Yeah. Yeah, I kind of know what you mean. All right, Chi Chi. It's hot, isn't it? You hot? Oh, yes. Oh, I love it. Yeah. Oh. She chased a mouse the other night, didn't you? Last night. Yeah. Oh. Good girl. Keep ch keep keep um, chasing the mice, for God's sake. I'm sorry, guys. I've just got to keep filming my wife. She looks bloody gorgeous. I never thought a set of dungarees would just. You've always said you don't buy any dungarees, well, you hate them. But there's a particular thing you know, to those things. You know, everything you think you hate, you don't hate, like mints. Years we haven't done any spaghetti bolognese because you hate spaghetti bolognese, then you end up loving it. Everything you end up loving. Does anyone else think she looks damn hot? She looks damn hot, doesn't she? I am bloody hot. It's boiling out there. No, no, I mean, damn, damn hot. <laughs> I mean, look. I literally can't stop taking it. I can't take my eyes off her. I keep coming back in like a, you know, like kids at parties that keep wanting to play with other kids. I keep on like that. I'm just like, I just want to play with her. And she's, she's nonchalantly pretending to ignore me. But she's an actress, so she knows she's being watched. Huh? What is that suggesting? Some kind of strange aversive perv. Yeah, I like it when people never look at me. You like it. Like it, like she's like pretending that, to put a leg like up. Betty and Teddy are in the house. Say hello. Hi. 
Say hello to the subs. Hola. Hola. And Dina has made a gorgeous, one of Dad's favourite dishes. I was going to make it, but I didn't have time. Yeah. Gordon Dina has, made his favourite dish. Quite right. Tell well, us what it is, Dina. Yeah, um, yeah, but I was stuffed courgettes with uh, lamb, rice, herbs, spices. Mint. Thank you. Mint cooked with lots of bloody fresh tomatoes. And Whoa. loads of lamb. And it's got loads of fried crispy garlic on the top. Wow. <laughs> so what do you think of our new garden area, eh? Beautiful. Splendiferous. Yeah. It's beautiful. It is beautiful. Well, I, I, I mowed it for you as well. <laughs> you noticed, I yes. came and mowed it. <laughs> and <laughs> de-food it. <laughs> de-food is the most important bit. It is, isn't it? It's going to that evolve. That rose is lovely. Oh, this. Have you smelt it? Yeah. Mum, we're going to buy you one because the smell. Oh yeah, oh, you yeah. haven't got a sense of smell. I could. Oh my god. Buy it for Dad. <laughs> I'll buy it for you, Dad. Lovely smell. Tobacco you know. So how do you yes. feel about lockdown being lifted as from today? No, it's from fourth of July. It's very silly. Well it's good generally <laughs> speaking. But for us as a family, you know, we've been quite happy and comfortable with it. Yeah. But you feel that the whole you I want the whole country, yeah, country. the economy. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 You want, that feeling is good. Tomorrow. You know, all those the cars are too noisy and the rest of it. But there's but life. I have to say, Without that life around you, you're gonna be very lonely. Yeah. So the loneliness comes from the lack of life around. I know yeah. that Everything deadly, deadly yeah. quiet. It's, 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 a, it's a question of vibes, you know, and you've got no peace because. In them. Your vibes exactly. feed other people, yeah. and other people's vibes vibes feed you. Yeah. And today, probably, I feel I'm being fed a vibe by, by another. You're saying with the traffic and everything back. Yeah. It's a big vibe. Oh, I see that. No, it was vibe. so weird yeah. though because the beginning yeah. of lockdown there was no noise. No noise. It was lovely. Yeah. <laughs> it was lovely. No, I, I likened it, it to uh, just after the snow. Cool. You don't want to go back. I want it back. No, no, no. You like lockdown. Yeah. Why? Yeah. Because it's quiet. Yeah. It, and I felt like if I'm on it, holiday it has, all the time. It has, <laughs> it has its advantages, of course. You know? Traffic all right, all right. And, and that's my Seeing theory is that if you isolate so yourself totally Seeing. and sometimes Seeing. in a very expensive manner, you know, by buying somewhere in the woods or something, you're wrong because you will get fed up with that silence. You know? Don't move to the woods. You want, yeah, yeah. You <laughs> Yeah, you, you know. In the woods, what are you talking yeah. about? No, it means the countryside. Yeah, yeah. See. other lives feed you, and you feed, you know, where we feed and we're being fed. That's the way of nature. You know? Yeah. So, oh. no, it's lovely. Well, feed yourselves. And we've got Enjoy. full on, on car oh, music. Oh, God, it's stereo so going annoying. Full on carnival. Yeah. yeah. I get so many Shazam oh. songs from them now. It's good for me. Do you? Yeah. What you sit here Shazam and you Shazam it to find out what the. <laughs>